Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Laravel Telescope. And Laravel Telescope uh, can be able to assist us to uh, work with our project as we are de designing it and uh, developing it. And it can be able to give us more insight on whatever it is that is happening under the hood. So in this case, you can be able to get a little bit more information as you do your development pro uh, progress. And uh, this can be able to inform you on the decisions that you make regarding your application. I would like us to go ahead and install a Laravel telescope. So we are going to use the command composer require Laravel telescope. And as it installs, I'm going to pause. The installation is complete. We, we are going to run a command uh, PHP artisan telescope inst install to be able to uh, create the provider, the assets, and every other thing. And then after that, we are going to migrate our tables. So in this case, ZAMP is, is, is running, and I'm also running MySQL. So I'm going to just say PHP artisan migrate. And since I have the table that we have in this machine is a table that I used for another project, because I just use the default Laravel um, uh, database. So in this case, I just say migrate fresh just to drop all the tables and I migrate them once again. So um, that is that. And as you can see, we have a table called telescope entries among the tables that have been created. Now, I would like us to just maybe do one small thing to be able to uh, illustrate whatever it is that uh, this thing does. But uh, before we do that, I would just like to say PHP artisan serve, in this case, to run our application. And then I show you what we have. So in this case, we are going to visit localhost 8000. And then I uh, will visit forward slash telescope. And here, as you can see, we have telescope. And uh, the first thing, we also have a request. Among the requests, there is this request that we have uh, visited the uh, landing page of Laravel. We already have it recorded here. I would like us to do a little bit more. I want to just create some uh, users in our table. So I'm going to go to database. And then I will go to Cedars, and then uh, I will uncomment the first line whereby we are creating uh, 10 users in this case. So this line that goes up models, user factory, 10, create that one and save. And then I'm going to open another terminal in this case where, where we'll be able to run uh, that so we just open another terminal, create another terminal here. And we are going to just say php artisan db seed. This command will be able to create uh, 10 users from the user factory that we have here under the user factories. So whatever it is that we have here, we are going to create some users using the credential, the the, this array that has been created here. So I'm going to press enter and it's going to seed our database and that is completed. And right now we have in our database 10 users. So I would like to open um, web.php, the routes file. And then inside the routes file, I also want to do some uh, something. I want to load all the users or something of that sort. So up here, I'm going to import the user model so I can say use uh, app models user such that we can be able to also check that. So in this case, I want to create a route here um, which we are going to have to make it a get route. So route get in this case, we are just going, going to call it users. And then we will have a function. And then we are going to pass the user using a root model binding. So user. 
and then after that we will open it up using the curly braces and then we can just here return uh, return return user all and we check also what happens but before we visit that route we already have been able to run a, a, a command that is php artisan db seed so if we check under commands you can see we have db seed as a command that has been run and it uh, it had an exit code of zero which means it was successful and then on top of that it took uh, 1.48 milliseconds something of that sort so i would like us also to be able to get the the users so in this case i'm just going to to visit localhost 8000 in a different uh, line and then um, in the in a different uh, tab and then we can say users like that and as you can see it's bringing uh, or in other words loading the users that have been found in the database if we go back to telescope we can be able to first of all see that there are requests that we have made there are two requests to get requests to the the home page and then there is also a request to users and all of them have given us a status of 200 the duration for one of them is 3 394 milliseconds 314 648 and so on and so forth and still if you want to get a little bit more information we can click here and we can be able to see again that um, it was a get route the controller action was a closure and then the middleware was web and then users the status code 200 394 milliseconds the ip address and then the memory usage 20 mb so in this case even uh, as you intend to do well and be able to ensure that your application does not have does not use a lot of memory you can be able to know each requests each request that uh, takes place how much memory it is using and then of course because we have uh, been able to involve uh, the database we can be able also to check the models because there's something that has happened to the models also as you can see for every user that was loaded in this case we are having user with id of one user id with, with id of two and so on and so forth and then after that we can also be able to check under queries because we have done something on the database again we can have that information here and also the duration with which this uh let me say um database query uh took so i think that should be all for us in this tutorial i would like us to stop here i ask that you may subscribe comment and share this video if you find that uh, you have liked it and it is a useful video thank you very much